Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. A couple of weeks ago, in the middle of July last month, I posted a video that in the then latest Canary Channel build in the Insider program, build 25905, Microsoft had included a new Windows Update recovery feature called How to Fix Problems Using Windows Update. So you can fix um, problems with this feature that will download and install a repair version of the OS. Now, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. But just to let you know that in last week's latest dev channel build, build 23516, the same feature, fix problems using Windows Update, has now been spotted by the Windows enthusiast Phantom of Earth as a hidden feature. And as many of you will know who do view this channel, hidden features are code and features that Microsoft could be testing internally with a limited subset of users internally before they push features out to uh, push features out as official features to up and coming preview versions and as we have seen on this channel there have been a lot of hidden features in the past that have actually become official features for testing now this is a hidden feature and was enabled using Valve tool which is a third party app in build 23516 for the dev channel and quick recap um, basically what the feature does if you click on reinstall now um, according to Microsoft as we can see from the dialogue and the description in the menu. Um, this operation reinstalls the operating system that you have and will not remove any files, settings, or apps. And if we head to the next screenshot provided, here we can see that on the Windows Update page, when uh, that is reinstalling, it says Repair Version. So the repair content is displayed on the Windows Update Settings page, says Microsoft, with the title appended with Repair Version, because obviously uh, this just makes it identifiable as a repair and not as a pending or any other update that's been made available through Windows Update. And because it is um, a hidden feature, although it's not a, an official feature, um, the Dev Channel, although it is a more advanced version of the Insider program, it is closer to the general release version of Windows. So if this does start rolling out officially, which I think it will, uh, to the Dev Channel Insiders, it just means it's one step closer, possibly to its official release and that could be rolling out, as mentioned, with the 23H2 feature update in the latter months of this year. Or, if not this year, could be a feature that makes its way into a possible Windows 12 that will be rolling out possibly in the latter half of next year, 2024. But my personal guesstimate with this, I think this will be made available in Windows 11 before it does make its way um, into Windows 12. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.